So, I'm showered and. Yep, don't smell like a dead dog anymore. Today is going to be a sort of mixed day. Bulbs, as well as I'm going to have to be digging, you know, start preparing my bamboo with the ravine around it and that sort of stuff. I can talk about this later on, but the first thing we're going to be doing is 300 plus bulbs need to go into the ground. Loads of different ones here. And tulips, alliums, daffodils, alliums. I love these ones. These ones are Allium Gladiator. They're like, they're getting up to one meter 20 high and massive bulb. And it, they look absolutely beautiful. Very, very, <sighs> what's the word? I can't think of it now. Architectural, that's the word. Also here, it gets quite windy and they resist the wind, they don't break. I've got a ton of seeds downstairs in my special fridge. And I'm going to try to have, I'm going to try to propagate them from that as well. But clearly, you could just buy them. <clears throat> and you know what? If you buy them at the end, they're really as cheap as chips. So eventually, the entire property is just going to be full of alien gladiators. <laughs> oh, good. I really need to get alive. Oh, and yeah, this is the tool I use when I plant bulbs. It's, you know what? It's like anything. When you have 300 plus to put into the ground, the first 10 or 15, it's kind of fun. By number 35 or 45 or 50 or 60, you just want to stab yourself in the eye. But this actually makes it easier. So you just shove it in the ground, you twist it, then you lift it up, the dirt stays in here, and then you dump the bulb in, and you press this. And you know what? three euros for one of them. I bought a few because I tend to break. They tend to snap when you twist, you know, when you put it into the ground and you twist it like that, they tend to snap up here once in a while. So, and you know what? Like I said, three euros. They don't owe you anything at all. Yeah. Those bastards promised sun. Didn't quite deliver, but hey. Yeah. Maybe they'll come back later. Anyway. Onwards and upwards. Why am I saying this? I'm not going onwards or upwards. Let's make a decision which is going to go in the front, which is going to go in the back, and then start digging a hole or start pushing them thing. This one in the ground. So now I get to the stage of planting them, and I oh damn it! I forgot my bloody thingy me jiggy me the planting thing. Oh, so I've got my planting thing. And lots of little of these twigs, because when I plant my bulbs, I cut a piece off and I shove it in the ground so I know where the bloody bulbs are, because I can't even tell you how many times I have dug up bulbs and other stuff before, which I put in, because I mean, obviously you can't see it, so put that in. It's laborious, but it works. So now I'm cutting about a million of these. Well, it feels like it, but it's so <laughs> lovely. So, got my sticks, got that thing. Bulbs. Let's put them where they need to be. Mmm, yeah. bulbs. I like to plant them in clumps because it's just nicer. So I'll do like, bulb, you know, three, and then I put some tulips around it and stuff. So there's gonna be around about four or five flowers together. So I'm gonna put them on this side as well as over there. And that's it really. Just make sure that they're the right way up because I don't know even how many times I've planted them in the wrong way around. Which doesn't really work. So yeah. You've got the sticks around it, you know that there is something you should be digging up. And on we go with the next stuff. I mean, it's obviously the thought that, you know, you could be cute and you could be spelling something with flowers because you know what, that's not tacky at all. Like, welcome, or hello, welcome to my casa, and shit like that. The problem is when you do something like this and you have a spelling mistake, or for instance, if I'm in a bad mood, I'll probably start spelling fuck off and bite me and, you know, as we say in Germany, lick my ass. Well, that would be a huge sense. I don't wonder how many flowers you would need for licking my ass. That's a thought for another thing, you know. Vulgarity in flower beds. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> we should do something like this, you know. Who can spell the world's word? Who can spell the worst word with flowers? And then you're going to be looking at it for weeks and months to come. 
and your neighbours too, and everybody else is coming to the house. I like that idea. Keep that thought for another video. I'm gonna wrap this up today because I'm kind of cold. And you know what? If tomorrow is gonna be a beautiful day, I'd rather like to do you know plant the rest of the. It feels like one million fucking bulbs tomorrow, rather than you know freezing my tits off. So they promised better weather and they delivered this time, not like yesterday. But yeah. I had a look at the footage I took yesterday and by God, I look tired. Jesus Christ, if it is not that I'm looking much better right now for some reason, but as if someone sat on my face all night. Not that sort of sitting. Anyway, and yeah. So today, again, the rest of the bulbs need to go in. I just counted them. I have around about 250 to go into the ground. Yay! And that's gonna be all at the back over there. Exciting. The bulbs are in. Thank God. And it all together, I actually counted them all, every single one of them now. It was 362 bulbs had to go in. And this thing, did a lot of work and it was kind of cool and you know what the best thing about the whole thing is I didn't take my eyes out even though as I said at the beginning <clears throat> you know what once you come to like sort of you know, 40 50 60 70 you just oh really but at the end of the day you know what you have to consider when you do this sort of really really tedious things it's next year it's going to be a fisting for the eye I'm sure <laughs>